act of the second section, our final section together. Uh, are you excited to meet him? Yeah. Now, it's something a little bit different. Uh, now, we've got a, a very famous explorer who's going to come and talk to us. So I think you'll enjoy this very much. Uh, of course, I'm sure a lot of you will know him. Uh, and, uh, and so what I'm going to do, I think we all know when to start clapping now. Do we, do we know how to start? So just look, look ready. I know you've had a drink. A lot of you are pretty much smashed out of your faces now. <laughs> Don't even know where you are. But... Um, but everybody, look, look, ready to clap. And uh, and when I say go, we're going to welcome onto the stage the marvellous, of course, you know, Jasper Cromwell Jones. So uh, very nice that he's joined us. So everybody, look ready. Everybody, look ready. And start the clapping now. And whoop and cheer as well. And stamp your feet. And welcome to the stage, Jasper Cromwell Jones. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you so much. You seem absolutely lovely. Hello. Oh, good for you. <laughs> well done, you. You seem nice and smiley. Sometimes you get to a show and it's a little bit fighty. Um, actually, I, d I did one recently and a fight broke out in the audience. And yeah, While I was on stage. You can tell it's rough as well when a fight breaks out and you hear the words, Leave it, Keith. He's your son. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Went straight back to Berkshire. Um, <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to be doing a reading um, from my book today, if you're up for it. You're up for it? Yeah. You're up, the book is uh, Blood, Sweat and Beers. Uh, by me, Jasper Cromwell Jones, about my latest adventure. Ooh, I know, it's exciting. Bit of background about me before we sort of delve into the book. Uh, uh, Jasper Cromwell Jones. Uh, I come from uh, money. <laughs> Come on. Oh, obviously. Um. Oh. Then when I was four, uh, Daddy left Mummy for his secretary, Nigel. And, and, uh, and I had to leave Eton and rough it at Marlborough. Um. But that's where I met my best friend, Fishy, uh, Barney Fishfingers de Mowbray. And... We, we, we got on great, uh, we started sort of adventuring, uh, I love sort of ad adventure. We want adventurers in, anyone done anything dangerous? Any, anyone been to a war zone or a stag do? Anyone been on a night bus? Good for you, well done you. Well done you. <laughs> Anyone been to a state school at all? <laughs> well done, you. Good for you. Uh, I love danger. Uh, danger would be my middle name if it wasn't already Hercules. Um, so it's a, it's a nice crowd, small, small crowd. I suppose it's a bit like Mummy and the Pool Boy. It's a, it's an intimate affair. Um, but we're going to sort of delve into the book. Um, I am rather posh. Um, I should point that out. Uh, a little bit posh. We've got quite a posh crowd in, actually. You seem quite posh, actually, sir. You do? Yeah, no, yeah, no. Yeah. Should we have a posh off? Should we posh it off? Yeah, let no, no, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, what's your name? What's your name? Rory. Rory? <laughs> Jasper, 15 love. <laughs> It's going to be a ruddy walkover. <laughs> what do you do, Rory? What do you do? I'm a student. You're a student? Oh, adventurer, 30 love. Should have got two for that. Um, where are you from, Rory? Where are you from? Uh, Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland? <laughs> Come on. Berkshire, 40 love. <laughs> we'll go for a decider, we'll go for a decider. What's your favourite game? What's your favourite game? Rugby. Rugby? Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> no. What's your favourite game? <laughs> Pheasant. So, game <laughs> seven. <laughs> you thought you had me. You, <laughs> you thought you had me. 
You're silly, aren't you, Rory? You silly boy. <laughs> Do you, want, do, you want, do you have any nicknames? Do you have any nicknames? Roars. Roars? No, you need a better one. We all, we all had nicknames in school. There was, there was, uh, there was Mortgage Michael. Was, Mummy had a mortgage. There was, uh, oh no, there was Balding. <laughs> Looked a lot like Claire Balding. <laughs> they called me Lizard Licker. Annoying, actually. You lick one lizard one time. <laughs> and it sticks. <laughs> Literally, Rory, don't do it. <laughs> right, so we'll get into the book. I, I suppose I should sort of prepare you. Uh, 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 the book, what is the book about? The book, I suppose, is a bit like me, uh, in that you can take it anywhere. <laughs> and it's got a title. Uh, so. okay. Lighting change. Perfect. I'm, chapter one. I'm writing this in prison somewhere in Colombia. I was on my latest adventure passing through the border when the local authorities found something on my person. It was a package I was carrying for my former friend, Champagne Charlie. <laughs> we called him that because he loved Charlie. <laughs> oh. Not the drug, his flatmate, Charlie. <laughs> Turns out he also loved heroin. And that's what he was getting me to carry. I should have known, he did tell me to put it up my bottom. I thought that was just for larks. Like that game we'd play in school, <laughs> hide the sausage. Never found that sausage. The food isn't great in the cell. There's no decent booze in sight. Nightmare. It's like doing dry January. <laughs> Have you done dry January? I did it. Basically, in January, I just drank dry white wine. <laughs> that was absolutely brilliant. <laughs> I'm doing the 5-2. At the moment, you're the 5-2 diet. You basically, you basically you eat what you like for five days, and then for two days, you basically eat nothing. Yeah, I've been doing it for five days. It's brilliant. <laughs> I recommend it. <laughs> Giving up tomorrow. <laughs> I just love food. I love it, like butter, cheese. Apparently you can tell if someone likes butter by using a butter cup. Do you know that? Yeah, you get, you, you get a butter cup, you put it under someone's chin. Yeah. And if they've got two chins, they definitely like butter. <laughs> you could all do it. Bit of fun. We're in prison. <laughs> Luckily, I've got some company in prison. I'm joined in the cell by a lovely chap called Juan. Juan is the leader of a gang. He told me of how they owned most of his town. I told him that was very similar to my family. <laughs> we had a lot in common. <laughs> He said if I grew up in his school, I'd have a cap in my ass. I said we played similar games in our school too. Oh. We were like peas in a pod. We both enjoyed the posters he had on his wall of exotic ladies. They reminded me of my ex-girlfriend Millie. I told him stories about Millie and he loved them. It made him laugh at night. I know that because the bunk bed would rock. And I'd say, what are you doing down there? And he'd say, thinking of Millie. And I'd say, yeah, she is funny, isn't she? <laughs> She's lovely, Millie. I missed her a lot, actually. I'll tell you a bit about Millie. She was quite kinky. I don't, I don't mind saying. I remember she told me once, she said, she said, Jasper, Jasper, sex is better on holiday. <laughs> yeah, that was not a nice postcard to receive. <laughs> Chapter two, my next, 
My next destination will be the rainforest of Brazil, the home of football, carnivals, vaginal follicle cultivation. You know what I mean? South American landing strip. Sideways eyebrow. Hairy exclamation mark. You know what I mean? I came to a clearing and found a tribe approaching me. The tribe, the tribe looked human and friendly and instantly embraced me and welcomed me into their village. They were very tactile. I'm not very comfortable with a hug, as I'm English, and they were naked. The tribe refused to wear clothes, and I rely on my clothes. I wasn't comfortable being tackled out. You, you know what I mean? Fruit and veg on display. Best in show, on show. Everyone ogling at my baloney pony. I mean, we've all got names for our penis, haven't we, Rory? <laughs> Raw. <laughs> we, call, we call him the little lion, do you? <laughs> Cheeky boy. <laughs> do you know what I call? I, I call my penis Ronaldo. <laughs> he dribbles a lot. Sorry. The storms. We're in the jungle. We're in the jungle. The storms in the jungle were like no other. One night I thought it would whisk me away. My life flashed before my eyes. Going to Marlborough. Getting expelled from Marlborough. Daddy buying Marlborough. Being reinstated at Marlborough. And I had to come home. And I did. And to hear the rest, you'll have to read uh, the book. Um, ladies and gentlemen, do buy the book. You've been absolutely lovely. Um, I'm going to go off and uh, have some dinner. Uh, I've got my trusty spork. S I mean, anyone got one of these? Spoon and a fork in one. It's great, isn't it? Real space saver. I've got loads. I've got absolutely loads. It's been absolutely lovely. Follow me on the Twitter at the Posh Climber. Uh, I've been Jasper Cromwell Jones. See you later. Good night. Jasper Cromwell-Jones. What a treat.